Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. So this is the last video of this year. We are approaching 2023 very fast. Before I start, I just want to say thanks for the ongoing support for the last two years since I started this channel. Without you guys, I haven't been here today. So my last topic of this year is MRI elbow imaging. I'm gonna show you three different variations on how you can do elbow imaging, the different coils. So we're going from this kind of patient position like this, to this, to this. I'm gonna to explain to you every position, what code to use, and uh, stick around, I'll show you. Hey, for those who are new, my name is uh, back again. I'm an MRI regographer in my channel. I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Also remember to check out my playlist because in the playlist I'm dividing different videos and try to sort it out so it's easy for you to find the different uh, tips and tricks and uh, what you're looking for. So check it if you haven't already done it. Elbow imaging can be difficult and also not difficult. I think the most difficult part is how you're going to position your patient because there is no dedicated elbow coil as let's say for a knee, a knee is easy, right? Because you have a dedicated coil, you can position your patient easily, but for elbow, it's a little bit difficult, a little bit different, of course. And I'm gonna show you three variations. From my opinion, I'm gonna rate this from less comfortable to the most comfortable. So uh, let me show you. And let's start with the less comfortable. I mean, I tried it already myself and I felt that lying like this in a um, knee coil, no many people doing that, like Superman position in a knee coil, you get very good images, but the patient also needs to lie a little bit uncomfortable. So I rate this as the most uncomfortable position, but hey, that's my opinion, right? And uh, you see here, you can put a pillow uh, down here, of course, so you can lift your legs a little bit up. This is my colleague, and uh, yeah, you feel like somehow you have to stretch your arm a little bit too much, and then you, you don't have a position for your head. But also, I noticed that with this position here you can lie a little bit to the side but then you feel like your arm is just stretching out it's a little bit difficult that it's not for everyone uh, so uh, so i rate this as the less comfortable position but of course you get very good images if the patient can lie like this so let's rate number two uh, which is the second uh, comfortable so lying like this is is good it's not that bad because you have more control of your somehow your head your shoulder you can slide to the side and uh, all you got to do is stretch out your arm. And then I'm using the flex coil right here, the 60 channel flex coil. If you have a four channel coil, you can also use that. But also remember to put some pillow uh, cushion under the, the, the hand wrist so you rest the arm so it won't lie in the air like this. I just did a fast one here just to show you. Also pillow in between the legs here can be comfortable. So this is the second one. You also get good images having a patient if they can lie like this. So let's show you the most comfortable position. So this is definitely the most comfortable position. You are lying with your head first, your feet is, is uh, under a big pillow, so you rest your, your back, and then you only have your arms downwards. So this is the easiest way for the patient to, to lie, to do this kind of exam. You can lie like this for a little bit longer, of course, compared to lying like a Superman, because it really can hurt your shoulder. But lying like this, you have to also take account to, you know, you have fold over issues, right, left, because lying like Superman, you only have the elbow to image, you don't have a fold over issues, but lying like this, you have fold over and maybe some fat suppression issues. So you're trying to put the patient, uh, the elbow to the isocenter in the middle of the, the table and not to the side. Uh, yeah, also a pillow here and, and sandbag just to fixate the, the hand. So without further ado, let's do some live scanning, shall we? I did the uh, uh, three sequences, all the position like I showed you earlier, so we can compare the images later. So I'm just going to stop right here before we continue scanning. As you can see, the sequence is, is very short. Scan time, 54 seconds. And this is real because I'm using the Deep Resort Boost right here. We have a high resolution. And then recently, I just saw a post of, from a friend of mine. I'm going to show you guys right here. This is a friend of mine, Christina Araju. Um, she posts a lot of cool stuff uh, in the social media, both in LinkedIn and, and Instagram. This is her Instagram account. So you can also check her out and follow her and uh, check out the cases. So she is using IA here for doing the, the elbow. You can see the images is insanely good and it's very fast. So you get six sequences in seven minutes. Can you imagine that? Six sequences in seven minutes. So this is only possible because of uh, AI, right? Deep Resort Boost. All right, let's get back to the elbow. So I did three sequences. I did a T1 coronal. And uh, the next sequence I did was a T2 uh, 
transversal, also deep resolved boost, 55 seconds. Look at the resolution, 0 0.2, 0 0.22 millimeter. Having the deep resolve or the IA available will, will speed up the, the examination so the patient can lie less um, longer in the scanner and you will have a chance to get a good images in less scan time, right? So it's important to, to make the sequences fast. And if you have the possibility to do so, just like this, it's it be easier to get good images. So I did three sequences, T1, coronal, T2, transversal, and then a PD, fat set, sagittal. And uh, we're gonna compare all these images head-to-head. Uh, -head. So let's go to the results. All right, so this is the result. Upper row here, you can see a T1, T2, and a PD, PD fat set, sagittal. So this is where the, uh, my colleague is lying, the arms uh, forward, Superman position, and the, the ultra flex. And in the middle, is lying the most comfortable way, the arm downwards. As you can see, there's a little bit fold over right here. Like I mentioned, you have to take account of that. So the scan time can be a little bit added longer. So the last one is the, the, the knee coil. The knee coil is homogeneous, it's very good. And you can see here, three variations of the patient position. All of them, you can um, have the possibilities to get images from the elbow. So it's all about how you position your patient and what sequences you have in front of you, which you can optimize and speed things up. If you have AI, deep resolve boost, use that uh, because then the examination will be shorter, of course. If you ask me, I, the most comfortable way was lying arm downwards, but with AI, things go so fast. So I will maybe choose between the Superman position just to avoid the, the, the fold over and you can even speed the things up much faster. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I know that MR elbow imaging can be a little bit difficult. That's why I wanted to make this video as the last video of this year. Please let me know in the comments, how do you do elbow imaging? If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so we get a ding ding whenever new videos we are coming up. So I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay safe and come back even stronger next year. Peace out and I'll catch up with you in my next video.